Ozone is a molecule that is found naturally in the air. It is an oxygen, colorless gas with a pleasant smell. It can affect human health and ecosystems, depending on what layer of the atmosphere it is in and its concentration. Globally, atmospheric pollution is environmental factor with the highest risk of premature mortality. At present, it is almost impossible to live without generating any kind of impact, such as emissions of polluting gases into the atmosphere. Our consumption of goods and services is accelerating continuously, making our lifestyle unsustainable and a paradigm shift necessary. Ozone is one of the pollutants found in the atmosphere that are monitored to measure the air quality in the territory, according to the legislated limits. It is a secondary contaminant formed by the reaction of two primary pollutants and solar radiation. However, the ozone found in the stratosphere which is the layer found approximately between 10 to 50 kilometers in altitude, is beneficial for all living organisms, as it forms the well-known ozone layer. This layer acts as a filter, protecting us from ultraviolet radiation from the sun. In contrast, the ozone found in the troposphere, which is the layer closest to the Earth's surface, is considered a pollutant. Tropospheric ozone is formed by an oxygen molecule and another oxygen atom. The general process by which tropospheric ozone is created is the following. The precursors that are involved are nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds that, when reacting with solar radiation, they produce certain complex chemical reactions, releasing oxygen atoms. Finally, the ozone is formed when these oxygen atoms come in contact with an oxygen molecule. Usually, high concentrations of ozone are not found in large cities, where primary pollutants have been emitted, but in peripheral and rural areas, thanks to the influence of the direction of air masses. According to the World Health Organization, 92% of the world's population live in areas where air pollution exceeds recommended levels of health protection. Ozone has an oxidizing nature, which means that, at high concentrations, it can affect the health of people, causing irritation and respiratory difficulties to humans. It also has effects on ecosystems, being corrosive to vegetation and fauna. Within the life cycle of construction products, the emission of primary pollutants that can produce tropospheric ozone can come from different phases. In the phase of extraction of raw materials, in quarries, a large amount of volatile organic compounds are emitted. In the manufacturing phase, the use of products from chemical industries or semen manufacturers results in the emission of nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds into the environment. Other sources of ozone precursor emissions are transport, incinerators or deforestation in construction areas. The Environmental Product Declaration Program DAPCONS, quantifies the impacts generated by construction products considering their entire life cycle from the extraction of raw materials to the end of life, passing through the manufacture, distribution and use of the product. These environmental declarations take into account eight environmental impact categories, such as waste generation, eutrophication, depletion of abiotic resources or photochemical ozone formation. Thanks to DAPCONS, the stakeholders involved in the construction and rehabilitation of buildings as the prescribers of materials may have the necessary information to choose the materials and products based on the environmental criteria. 
With these Type 3 eco-labels, companies can demonstrate their involvement and respect for the environment as they give information to technicians when choosing more respectful products and adopt sustainable measures within the sector. On one hand, administrations are increasingly pursuing the reduction of impacts with the development of regulations and, on the other hand, society is more involved in consuming goods and services with less impacts. Therefore, the Environmental Product Declaration Program is a very useful tool to promote the transformation of the construction sector towards a future model, sustainable and respectful with the environment and the people's health.